So many questions are coming in concerning Restream.io. Uh -huh. Restream.io is actually amazing, but so many people have not really understood how to navigate the website. So with this detailed video, I'll be explaining because I don't want to see anybody complaining again. We are August TV learning is here. I am going to be explaining in details all those things that you are not doing that is making you not to get views on your live stream using Restream.io, okay? So for you to attract those viewers, you head over to your Google and you, you type um, YouTube Studio desktop version, you log in. This is where you'll be putting on some settings that are crucial for you to actually get views on that your live stream okay so what we are going to do is that we will head over to our settings here we head over to settings okay then it's going to take us to this place you click on community okay so when you click on the community tab it's going to give you all this under an um, automatic filters you can see restream boats this restream boat is showing here because i have linked my um, YouTube to restream website. That is why it's um, here on these standard moderators. Okay, so now look at this place. If you click here on this live redirect, you are going to see that my own is turned on. All channel can redirect to my content. Before I I don't know about this, and I'll be going live. I won't be seeing. I won't be having viewers. You understand? So when I turn this on. I started getting viewers, you know, coming into my live stream, okay, with that Restream.io website I used to, you know, loop my videos, my my videos, all right? So, make sure this is turned on, okay? This all channel can redirect. Before, it was off like this, but when I turned it on like this, I saw massive changes. I saw massive viewers coming into my what? Live stream do not use channel that you subscribed to can redirect to my channel don't use this content if not to be having limited you know limited uh, audience because only people that you are subscribed to that that you can be able to, to you know read or redirect um, their viewers to your own live stream so make sure you put it in all content words all sorry all channels can redirect to my content so that is it then under this specific channel who can redirect this is where you put in the names all right they put in the names or the name of the channels who can actually redirect and on their own end they have to you know go to their setting and actually accept it and when their live stream ends they automatically redirect their their viewers to your own live stream okay uh -huh. so i hope you're understanding it now this place that is where you you can add up to you can add more than one up to two self you understand so another thing for this to work you have to click on the plus icon directly on your youtube app for you to redirect you have to do this on your youtube app okay but these are the settings you have to do here let's say for example you want um August tv to you know redirect her her viewers to your own live stream you come here and add august tv but this will only work if on my own end i accept okay if i accept the the collaboration then it's going to actually work but if i don't i do not accept then it won't work okay so it's a two-party thing all right so that is pretty much it for this setting then we are going to head over to our restream.io so i'll also explain another way in which you can actually get views from you know your live stream first of all you head over to your google chrome when you head over to your google chrome you type restream.io after typing restream.io new stream when you click on new stream it's going to take you to this interface restream studio then click on enter studio here click on enter studio so it's joining let's wait for it okay it has taken us to this place so you click on add scene when you click on add scene you click on media it's going to take you to this place now click on add source then you choose a video click on video you come here you choose any video of your choice is already up to three here so we can delete one you know 
and add another one all right so we've deleted one let us upload another video from our gallery all right so let's just choose one of these okay now it's going to import so it's uploading all right okay let's wait for it it's processing and after processing it's going to be ready for us to use okay i hope you're understanding follow me step by step to get everything okay don't miss any step all right we are here now listen carefully now all right click on this video click on it it's going to explain right now this three dotted this thing here that three dotted uh, icon click on it see the loop option so many people are saying that they don't that it's telling them to you know upgrade or pay for um the premium version for them to be able to look their video you can look to your video without paying anything on this website click on this click on loop when you click on loop you see that good there if you just max good that video even if it's a 10 seconds video that video will keep on looping even it will keep on looping even if you want to if you even if you want to stay on that live stream for 10 hours it's going to loop for 10 hours so far that you clicked on that loop option and it's marked good but if you don't click on that loop option that is where you're going to see that you 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 uploaded a video and you started the live stream and after 10 seconds 20 seconds or 56 seconds video the um, video that you uploaded there elapses and the live stream ends okay another thing is that some people are setting their live stream on event if you set your live stream on event that that um, live stream is going to end immediately that video ends it is 56 seconds after 56 seconds is going to end you are scheduling the live stream as an event if it's a 56 seconds video after that it ends so it's most advisable that you do what just click on your you know restream studio Receive studio and to get your thing done don't create any event don't schedule anything that's for beginners that don't really understand this website okay don't schedule anything don't event anything just use your um, stream studio and you know add the video and click on start stream all right so when you click on that loop option and it has marked good your video will start you know playing just like that but mind you we haven't clicked on start stream yet okay we haven't clicked on start stream now let us click on our start stream this icon here is where you can add um please subscribe to my channel because you have to tell them um even when the live stream is going on and you don't want that um please subscribe to my channel to be showing you can click here to hide and it's going to hide it all right okay you can click there to hide and it's going to hide it and they will, your viewers will keep on you know, engaging on your on your content or your live stream sorry i need to drink water where is my water okay it's far away from me <laughs> all right i'm going to get that later so what was i saying the only reason why they are going to join and leave or not stay is if those um, viewers come to your life and that live stream is not engaging it's not interesting it's boring they're going to actually click out okay so in as much as you're doing this or setting this um putting on this setup make sure that um your content or your videos are engaging enough for people to want to stay and you know engage for a very long time it's not a must you have up to 500 subscribers before you'll be able to get you know viewers even if you have like um 50 to 100 subscribers they're even without you putting on all these settings you can still have views you can still have viewers coming into your live stream sometimes i wonder why you are having 1000 subscribers and even up to 500 um subscribers 2000 subscribers 10,000 subscribers and you're not having views you might be shadow banned yeah it's either you're shadow banned that's why you're not having views because even people as low as 50 subscribers, 100 subscribers they have views so why is it that you that has up to one point something um k subscribers 2k subscribers even up to 10k subscribers you're not having views on your live stream using restream.io i don't understand either you are shadow banned and you do not know okay it's either you are shadow banned or you do not know
even these settings I mentioned earlier, even if you don't put these settings and you are, your channel is intact, your channel is good, is healthy, you are definitely, if you do this in, the, in five to six days, YouTube will start recommending your live stream to people. I hope I'm, I'm answering most of your questions, all right? I hope I'm trying as much as possible to answer most of your questions. These questions keep coming. They keep coming in on my on my um, comment box, on my Instagram, on my WhatsApp. I have like five people asking me, but I just came here to clear it out. Please, um, you people should get this right. It's either you were shadow banned or there is something happening. There may be copyright issues on your channel that is making your channel not to get visibility. Are you getting me? Even you know, even apart from a um, normal live stream, on your normal videos, you're not having views. Please go and check the health of your channel if if you are actually being shadow banned. If you want to check for, if you want to check the health of your channel. I would strongly um, advise that you use um, YouTube Large. That is YT Large. Go to your Opera or your or your Google. Type YT Large and check you copy your channel link click paste on it and check the, the the health of your channel okay check the health of your channel if your channel is is um at risk of demonetization at risk of shadow ban at, at risk of being deleted is going to show you there okay you will be seeing all the whole red everything be shining red 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 on that on that with this thing when you check it but if your channel is healthy going to be shining green and yellow you know it shows that it's showing that it's healthy so get this right before you come here and say that restream is not working because there are a lot of people that have gotten monetized from restream i for one will be getting monetized very soon by the grace of god because as as of now i'm already i've already completed my you know my one i've already gotten more than 1000 subscribers and my 4000 watch hours is just remaining like i think 100 100 watch hour for me to complete my 4000 watch hour all thanks to restrain and after doing this mind you i'm going to stop doing it because my aim my, my sole purpose of doing restream was to get my first 1000 subscribers but i noticed that i had a whole lot of engagement and views on my on my on my live stream that i don't even know when i exceeded 1000 subscribers in just to or in just two live stream i already completed my 1000 subscribers so in as much as you want to do this i want i want to advise you to do it constantly because you are going to actually be attracting viewers that will not be interested in your um in your long-form content so i'll advise you to stop when you get your 1000 subscribers as a new content creator i will advise you to stop doing it okay and now start getting organic pure I, I didn't say that one is inorganic please don't get me wrong it's still organic because those people watching you watching you on your live stream they are not they are not bots they are real people because you can see them dropping comments and you know engaging with themselves there they are real people but these real people they are they are they are their retention capacity is very low it's just like that of short i've said it in one of my previous video their retention capacity is very short so they tend to watch more of short content okay they're not interested in your long form videos and all those blah 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 you're talking they're not so when you get your first 1000 subscribers and if per eventual you complete your 4000 your 4000 watch hours you stop but if you get your 1000 subscribers and you've not completed your 4000 watch hour i would suggest you start doing it what gradually once every week so you don't go just go accumulate go subscribers um, on your channel and your your long form videos will be getting any visibility at all it's going to be very very bad what is the essence of getting monetized and nobody is watching your long form videos except you want that channel to be a channel for just you know live stream and shorts then it's up to you but if you really want to get monetized because of your long form content after getting your first 1,000 subscribers, don't wait to get 2,000 or, or get to get to uh, or wait to get to 10,000 subscribers because if you accumulate those fake subscribers, hmm, those ghost subscribers that not fake, sorry, those ghost subscribers that are not interested are interested in your long form content, you are going to cry. Yeah, ben, anya, man, anya,
I'm sorry, I'm Igbo, um, I'm Igbo, okay? So most time I'll, my Igbo side will come out. You are going to cry if you accumulate 10,000, 20,000 subscribers from your live stream. After 1,000 subscribers, stop. Please stop, okay? And start getting your real subscribers that are interested in your long-form content for your own good. We all are, are, are doing this thing just to get monetized and it's going to be bad that you're monetized and you can stay a whole year, two years, and you've not gotten up to $100. Because before you can be able to withdraw from your from YouTube, you have to get to, you know, a threshold of $100. If you don't get to $100, you cannot withdraw. All right. So you see that some people can stay two years and they can't even withdraw because that's one cent, $1, $2, $3, three dollar one dollar two dollar is that what is going to you know give you um the kind of money you're looking for so it's going to be really really frustrating so that is going to be all for now and i hope that we all get monetized this year before the end of christmas if you have not watched that my video i just uploaded it i think this morning or yes yeah yesterday night so just head over to um the next video i can i'll be dropping i'll be dropping the link below this video make sure you watch that video it's going to give you a lot of tips on how to get monetized before christmas all right thanks for watching hit the notification bell subscribe to this channel and see you on the next one we will be sharing amazing tips and tricks for you to go viral love you In every home, there's a